Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we are going to learn about the SQL aggregate functions. Now, some of the aggregate functions that we are going to discuss is minimum, maximum, count, average, sum, etc. So, what these aggregate functions are in SQL? So, aggregate functions perform calculation on sets of values and return a single value. Say, for example, if I want to find the minimum of a set of number, then I can use the aggregate function min to find the minimum of the set of numbers in a particular column of the table. If I want to find the maximum, I can use max. If I want to count how many rows are there in a table, I can use count. If I want to find the count of non-null values in a column, I can use count as well. Average, sum, etc. So there are so many aggregate functions and the best place to start learning these functions is basically the official documentation of the database. Now these aggregate functions might differ in different databases. We are using MySQL database. So we will be referring to MySQL documentation. These are very common functions. So most probably you won't find difference in any different database for these functions. Okay. But there will be some addition or some uh, different functions if there is a different sort of a database. So if we go to this official documentation, this is where I'm referring to aggregate functions, right? In the MySQL, I put this reference uh, and the link. So basically functions in the operators chapter. And here, if, if I go to the aggregate functions and aggregate function description, you will see all the list of aggregate functions that are supported in MySQL database. These functions will most probably be supported in any other databases, whether it's Microsoft SQL or DB2 or Oracle. So you do not need to worry too much about and you do not need to memorize each and everything here because these documentation are for that purpose that you go ahead and refer this because it's unnecessary hassle and not a productive thing to memorize everything here, right? So say for example, I want to find the maximum value. I'll use the max function. I want to find the minimum value. I will uh, use the minimum. I want to return the sum. I'll use sum. And then these are some of the common one that I'm going to discuss. So, and I want to count the number of rows. I can use count. If I want to count the distinct number of values, I'll use count distinct, right? And then if I want to find the average, I'll use the average. And you can go click on each of these descriptions or the links to get the details of these functions. And it will give you an example how you are going to use it. Okay. So let's quickly go ahead into the MySQL workbench and I'll create a table quickly and then insert some of the data so that we can work on it. Okay. So I am using this RCV online database. So simply use RCV online database and then create a table there. Okay. So table got created. And if I now select star from this table, you will see that table has been created, but it is empty at the moment. Let me insert some of the data there and I have inserted this data. Okay. And if I run this query again, you will see the data has been inserted into the table. Okay. Let me minimize this. We don't. Okay. Right. So now if there is an amount column, right, I want to find the maximum amount spent by the customers. Okay. So I can simply use the function max and I want to find the max of what max of amount, right? So I will say max of amount. I'll in the bracket, I'll say max of amount from customer order and run this. You will see the max number has been returned. If I want to find minimum, I'll simply change it. The minimum amount spent in the customer order, then it is $4, right? If I want to basically sum or get the total sum of the orders, then I'll say sum of the amount and run it and you'll see the sum has been returned quickly. Now, why is this all important or understanding of these functions important? These are important when you will be actually testing, right? So say, for example, you are doing some testing and you have placed certain orders, then how you are going to verify the order amount that you have put actually matches and it, it has been persisted into the database, right? So you will go into the database, you will connect to the database and the, the relevant table and run this query to find that the total amount that the purchase has been done for in the test environment actually matches. And that's how usually the testing happens, right? So that's why understanding these functions is really important. So what's next? Next is say, for example, I want to count, right? So how many um, amount is there in the count in the amount column? So if I say count of the amount, you will see six has been written. Usually we use count to count the number of rows, right? So if I count, say count star, it will count the rows in the table, which is again six, right? 
now why is this important to use count so if i say select star from customer order it still returns me the number of rows right so it will return me the number of rows and in the result it will say six rows first right but this is very um sort of if if i just want to find the number of rows in the customer order i do not need to fetch all the data from the table okay because it's resource intensive and the best way is to just use the count function and it will count the number of rows instead of returning and fetching everything and displaying on the screen right now what count will do is you need to also understand about the count that it will not count the non-null values okay so if there is any null value okay it will count only non-null value if there are null values it won't count that okay so say for example there is a value or there is a entry wherein the amount is not there then it won't count let me quickly insert some value there okay so i'll say let me copy this these two values and i'll make the amount as null okay so i don't want amount in this and i'll remove that so there is no amount okay insert these two rows there and now if i run this there will be eight rows altogether and there are two null rows okay so now if i count the amount okay still it will return six okay the reason being two of the cells in the amount are null and when we say count when we use count function it doesn't count the null values okay but if i say count star which is counting all the rows it will return eight this time right so this is the difference of the count if you are counting a specific cell uh, and there are null values it won't it will skip those okay now what is the next one the next one is basically we have understood about the count the next one is average so let's go for the count distinct as well now distinct will return the distinct values okay so in this table if i select all the values you will see there are some duplicates okay so ali k ali k is three time right so if i say i want only distinct customer names right there are duplicates for the customer i want only distinct customer name so distinct customers are one two three four right only four customers are distinct sam is repeated three times ali is repeated three times and then priya nitin so overall four distinct customers so if i want to find the distinct so i can say count distinct distinct and distinct of customer name right from customer order so if i run this you will see only four are being written right so only four distinct customers are there so this is how you will use count distinct okay so if you'll see the format is count select count distinct of whatever column and then from the table name okay now the next one is the average if i want to find the average i can simply use average so i can say select and then let me copy this and say average of say for example amount right so i'll say average and i want to see how much sales has been done so i want to uh, what is the average sale so average sale is basically 2767 okay so this will return me the average so these are some of the very commonly used aggregate functions but then there are many more average count count distinct um, group concat so you can go through these details but these min max count average these are very frequently and commonly used that's why i have shown you with example but then if you are more if you want more details around these functions go ahead and explore those but mostly what Whatever I have explained here is good enough for you to go ahead and start building the basics of SQL and start learning from the scratch and building your advanced skills. Official documentation is the best documentation to refer to because this is the source of truth. If there are any changes in any specific version, you will be getting it right here in the official documentation. Okay. Sum is another one which will return the sum of the values. So you can go through these as and when required if say for example you have any specific scenario and you want to look for whether the function is there go through and refer the function list and you can use the function available within the mysql database okay so that's all about the aggregate functions in sql i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching